好多先輩喎。Hello， 大家好 ，and u t a h a f a n h o p e you all having a nice weekend. It's time for another weekly ranking challenge, where I rank the top ten bishojo figures from Amiami into a tier list in one take and script. Because of the maintenance, we are doing things a bit earlier this weekend. The list is set for capture as of July 16, 2023, afternoon Japan time. This week we have lots of Azulane figure, including what might be a Grail for some of you guys, especially New Jersey fan. We also have an interesting teapot figure that are sitting at rank number one. So should be another interesting week. Without further ado, let's see if I can finish this in under five minutes. Those with the amount of pictures. When I did a sneak peek of the top ten ranking this week, this could be a challenge, but we shall see. Let's get started then. Coming at rank number one is a very interesting teapot figure. I'm not sure where this come from, but basically you get a figure, a chibi one, that looks pretty cute, and you also get the teapot. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. The teapot looks great, and she just looks so adorable. This cow, cat girl, and the teapot. So very interesting concept, and I think overall is well executed. It's unconventional, but I think it worked really well. So A tier for me. Next up, we have、uh, Uchikake. I guess the character is called S. It's one of those Japanese Asian influence figure with a very long samurai-looking sword. Very nice. The pattern in the armor or dress is looking pretty good. Although I'm not quite sure about the way her hair is flowing at the back, but the sword is looking really nice too. Expressions could be better overall, but pretty good figure, I would say. So B tier. Third on the list is from Cold Grease. So this is not the kind of figures I usually collect, and it looks rather simple. But I guess that's the design of the anime. Not quite sure about the pose, and the proportion looks a bit strange for the bottom. Expression is okay, so not my type of figure. D tier. Next up is a pop up parade, Detective Archive Shinagami. So looks like got some kind of pop idol vibe. The black dress is interesting. The ribbon looks good on the back. The headpiece is kind of nice, and there's a horn there. Expressions is about so-so. So I would say maybe D tier again. Yeah. All right. Now we have probably one of the most Anticipated figure that is recently announced: the Snow White ceremony in New Jersey from Asu Lane. Some of you will probably consider this as the Grail, and I must say it is a very elaborate figure. The stage itself is humongous, so shipping fee is going to terrible. So, ouchy for wallet. But look at the details. The accessories, the paint job, the shadings, the pose, the sculpting—everything is top-notch here, and very, very nice fun feel. Even the headdress piece have a lot of elaborate trimming and design, nice color flowering, and the dress. Like I'm a sucker for those translucent dress. And this one is just looks so gorgeous. Even the heels. Had some details on it, and then the boutique flowers, 
Looks like you're gonna get like three different expressions. That's fantastic. Nice photo. Very, very sexy. Ooh, look at the back. I mean, you can just go on and on and on. This is such a great figure. And I guess you also get a acrylic backdrop plate and a certificate of marriage if you're into those things. But I mean, all in all, like this is definitely an S tier class. There's no questions about it. Although, you know, it's going to hurt really bad for shipping probably, so. All right, we have another Azulane Indomitable. This one not as elaborate as New Jersey, but it's also a very sexy figure. The hair, I must say, looks a bit too messy to me, so... And the back doesn't look very good. Sciangle is alright. Front is definitely where you get your money shot. I like her expressions, though. Very sexy, although this side feel looks good, too. Oh well, as expected, we are out of time. I mean, it's bound to happen this week. There's just so many sexy Azuling figures and they usually have tons of photos. So, just like the other week, I'm going to insert another coin so we can finish the rest. I think we are halfway through, probably the worst week so far in terms of challenge, but we'll just match on. Okay, let's see. More sexy photos of her. I mean, look at the frontal shots. It is indomitable. Oh, wow. That almost looks like it's a castle, but it is not. Nice photos. I like with the car back. Ooh, look at the butt shot. That's really, really sexy. I might just have to up this into a tier. So, Definitely A tiers from what I've seen, you know, very, very sexy. Okay, next up we have To Love Blue Darkness Nemesis, the darkness version, another new figure, although there's no cast up, but I mean, just look at the pose. I'm not a fan of this kind of expressions. I mean, the pose looks sexy looking from the front, but Nothing too special on the back because of the hair and the side shot. I mean, they look okay. Could be better. That's good amount of shading. So, and then the claw looks really interesting. Okay, now we're seeing more details around her chest area. Also very nice. Okay, more close-up shot. Nice. So all in all, I mean, it's a nice, sexy figure if you're into this style. But it's just not my style, so I'll probably put it C tier. Okay, next up we have a Dancer Rufus. Another very sexy figure. I'm not sure where this come from. Kind of a Arabian night kind of vibe, and I usually like the color red. And you know, the base looks very interesting. Lots of accessories. Sexy back shot, very nice. Very nice back shot. Also very nice and sexy in the front. Interesting selection of accessory, I must say. Oh, very nice sexy figure. This looks like she just stand on her own. I wonder if you can stand her without the base. I guess you get a acrylic base along with it. So I would say maybe B tier. I mean, could be A tier to be honest, but B tier. Let's just put her at B. Finally, we have one more family oriented and PG thirteen one. Everyone love Anya for ya. So we've been getting lots of figures of her lately. She's always super cute. You know, all the different expressions you get. I mean, look at those one. Those are just golden. So very nice. It's a simple figure, but it's a good, good one. I say B tier. 
To round up the top 10, we have another Azuling. This time it's Taiho, also a wedding version. So you kind of pick which one you like. I mean, for Taiho, they go with a much simpler route, but still very elegant. In terms, you know, of the amount of stuff you get can't compare to New Jersey though. It's kind of too bad that she's up against her on the same week, but still, you know, very nice expressions. I like her air piece. The pose is sexy. Oh, the back actually. I like what they're doing with her hair. The way they sculpted it flow very nicely. You know, some side shots looking great. You know, another great shots. Okay, all right. We'll have to see if I have to censor this, but more photos. You know, we already know she looks sexy. I mean, the back shot, I mean, they've been nailing it. It's on fire. Yeah, on the sunset, they're feeding, I guess, on a boat. There's a boat ceremony. Uh, the base got some fur, and I'm not sure what this bonus thing is. All right, that is an A tier. Yeah, A tier. Okay, and there you have it. This is the list of this week. We have another S tier. Probably an undisputed one this time for New Jersey and also a couple of A tiers, a very interesting teapot figures and two more sexy Azuling figures. Then we have some other one at the bottom of the list. So overall, a very solid week. And I fell miserably with the challenge, probably this time took me the longest, but it's okay. I mean, it's good, right? we got tons of photos, so lots to talk about. But anyway, here's my list. What's yours look like? Comments below and let us know. Are you going to pre-order any of the Azuling figures? I don't really collect them, but to be honest, that New Jersey one is really tempting. You know, even though the shipping could be astronomical, I'm very tempted to pre-order her. But maybe we'll wait and see what happens. Who knows? As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this week ranking challenge. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you like my content. Until next week, thank you very much again. I hope you all have a really good day.